Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really, really well. I am just running a couple of errands today and I really missed you guys and thought, why not spend the day together? I'm not doing anything too exciting, but I am just basically just pulled up at B&Q because I want to get some lights for the bottom of our stairs and the top of our landing. Um, it's actually been decorated quite a while now and we still don't have lights. I'm trying to finish the house off before the baby arrives um, and there's still a couple of little bits around the house we haven't done so I'm going to get some of them hopefully they'll be okay and in stock I've seen them online um, so hopefully they'll be okay I'll show you guys I think they're like just like a glass dome with like a black um, wire to the top of the ceiling so I think they'll be really nice and tying with like our black accents that we've got um, and then I was going to go and get a coffee, maybe a pumpkin spice, spice frappe before they are done for the season. I haven't really had many at all. Obviously, I'm pregnant, so I'm trying not to drink as much coffee. Um, I've only had maybe one or two. So I'm desperate to have a frappe and I feel in the mood for one of those today. I'd really like to actually try the pumpkin spice cookie or is it the muffin? Um, something sweet I'm feeling this morning. I've just done the school run. I've just took Alexis to school. I'm not working today. So the reason I've not really filmed lately is I have been working constantly. For you guys that don't know, I do child minding. Um, so I've been really, really busy looking after little babies and um, yeah, I've just not had the time guys. And then once like five o'clock comes, I am ready for bed, um, second trimester. Uh, I do actually feel a lot more energised than I did in my first trimester. I'm actually going to be filming a whole first, second trimester um, catch up with you guys soon. So if you do have any pregnancy related questions, make sure you pop them down in this video. Uh, I think I'm going to probably do that after the autumn content's finished and Halloween. I'm going to be deco for, decorating for Halloween this weekend. Um, and then the kids are off school from next week uh, so once that's kind of over with we'll do a little bit of pregnancy updates I will let you guys know the gender of our baby for you guys that don't know um, and yeah we can go into all things baby I've got probably a couple of hauls to show you guys I've started buying um, a couple of bits here and there I've started doing a couple of bits in the house for the baby's arrival so I'll be very excited to show you guys that um and yeah if you do miss me please make sure to go ahead and follow me over on my instagram i'll pop it down below in the description i'm always putting snippets on there of all things baby and clothes maternity wear and things like that um but yeah i am really happy to be back with you all how are you all have any of you guys got any good news to fill me in on let me know in the comments i'd love to hear your guys stories what you've been up to where you've been what you've been buying um so we're gonna nip in being cute now and then like i said i think i'm gonna go and get a coffee and then i might have a browse in TK Maxx, maybe just to see what Christmas things they've got in store this year. A TK Maxx, if you're wanting anything like really nice, also like with Halloween and stuff and autumn decorations, you need to get in there early. I know it's only September, but I know they've got all their Christmas candles and things in store, so I wouldn't mind getting my hands on a couple of really nice ones of those to put away. Um, I don't know when I'll be decorating for Christmas. I'm not feeling it too early this year. Um, I didn't really go all out for autumn this year, to be honest. I haven't done a front door decorations. I feel quite guilty, actually, for the kids. Um, but I am going to decorate for Halloween this weekend, I think, with Alexis and film that. And then um, I'm not going to do a full house like I did last year. Uh, I think I'm just literally going to do like my mantelpiece in my room. Off, off where our fire is um just so that's like nice and spooky for halloween i might do like a bit of a halloween tea night again like i did last year and do some halloween fun inspired food get a couple of bits from marks and spencers we could actually look in there today because uh, there's one there where i'm going today to the retail park 
Um, and yeah, that's really all I've got to fill you guys up on. Haven't got any more news, haven't got anything else to fill you guys in. Just plodding along in life. Can't believe how fast this year has gone. I cannot believe we are in October and it is Christmas in two months. Like, how crazy is that? I can't believe I've been doing YouTube over a year now. That is mental. Oh, by the way, while we're on this subject, I reached 2,000 subscribers. I think it was last week, week before. I feel like it's taken forever to hit that milestone, but I am so thankful, so overwhelmed. I was so glad to get to that milestone. Like I said, I feel like everybody just kind of stopped watching YouTube in the summer holidays. I think life was just far too hectic and busy for people to sit and watch YouTube videos but I feel like people are sit, sat and watching them again and feeling motivated and inspired and it's really lovely to see uh, new YouTubers as well new I, I'm seeing a lot of people coming out of the woodwork people I followed on like Instagram and stuff for ages now like taking the plunge and making YouTube videos which I think is absolutely amazing and I love following new YouTube videos and vloggers I love to see like um, new faces and like what their life's like what their family's like what they get up to and yeah I'm, I'm really really enjoying all of that and I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've not spoke to you guys for so long uh, and take you guys in being here and I hope you really enjoy spending the day with me. What if the world had more of your smile? What if the wind could spread your love? What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Mm -hmm. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will whisper the word. Maybe the sun will spread your joy to the ones who lost their hope. Excuse me, out of breath, that is just pregnancy. Um, also, I know I'm probably gonna get asked about this cohort that I've got on today. This is from H&M, um, and it's got like flare um, trousers, and it's in this like beige color print. Um, it's actually not maternity, uh, but I basically just got it under my bump um bump is here but i thought it'd be just a nice cozy two-piece to wear through the winter time without wearing like leggings all the time like i feel like that's all i live in when i'm pregnant is like maternity leggings i ordered uh, a pack of three actually from h&m so 
and then I've got another pair and another ribbed pair and that's it um, but I don't fit in any of my clothes guys like I don't fit in anything <laughs> and every morning I go to get dressed it is such a challenge because I don't fit in any of my clothes so I have had to buy some maternity clothes I could probably do like a bit of a haul or a maternity pregnancy lookbook or something like that maybe if you guys are interested in that um so i bought the lights did i show you guys the lights one moment so these are the lights that i picked up um i don't know if you can see that but they're like a glass almost like a dome um shape and then they've got a black cable and then the the thing that sits on the roof um, and I just thought they'd look really, really lovely. I picked up two of them. I'll show you actually where I'm planning on putting those. So this is actually what I bought it for. One for here and then one for here at the top of the stairs as well. I think they'll look really nice. I think they'll match my mirror really nice um, and the colour scheme. And also not too... I don't want something huge that... <laughs> you know like takes your eye away from like my mirror I just think they'll be nice hopefully they'll be nice so I'm going to actually have to um ask my dad to come and put them up for me I think Tez could probably do it but um he's an electrician my dad so um, it's probably easier if he does things like that he always puts like the big things up in my house then i know it's done properly so i went to b and q i bought two of those like i said i bought them lights and then i've only got to buy a light fitting for my bedroom now which i've seen one on next that i like and it's got like it looks like a chandelier but it's made out of beads if that makes sense um it's like it's very bohemian um, and I think it'll look really, really lovely in our bedroom. I'm going to actually order some new bedding because um, I'm not really feeling the beige anymore. I think I'm going to order some crisp white bedding and maybe the matching ivory throw that we have the pillar to in our bedroom. So there's still a few bits I'm going to actually do in our bedroom. And then we've got um, the baby's co-sleeper as well. That's all white. So I think having white bedding, it'll all just tie in really nice. You know what I'm like, guys? I like everything to match um, and look nice. So then we went for a coffee. Coffee was delicious. Pumpkin spice cookie was absolutely amazing. It also had currants in it as well. It's gorgeous. Uh, so then I went to boots right okay guys so you get that guys know I love anything hair anything that does with hair care hair journey all of that good stuff so I usually use Pureology I think it's the extra strength cure shampoo and conditioner or something like that I've just actually emptied them bottles I think but they're like £35 or something like that online for two, which is quite pricey. Now, if anyone follows TikTok, these um, shampoo and conditioners from Boots have been going viral on TikTok. Apparently, they are really, really good um, and brilliant for hair. So, they're by the... I don't even know what the company's called. So, basically, that's them. That's what they look like in Boots. And I picked it up in the shampoo and also the conditioner as well. And they say they're um, damage ready and coconut miracle oil shampoo, extra strength, drench dry, damage strands with the secret of Maui. This ultra rich reviving blend with coconut oil, essence of TR and vanilla bean extract helps to soften and revive strands. Discover silky, soft, healthy looking hair, sulfate free. Um, so I'm going to give these a go. These were not pricey at all. I want to say these were £7.99 each or £8.99 each. There was something like that. Um, so I picked them up. Um, as well, somebody said to get the oil in it as well, but they didn't actually have that in stock today. So I'm going to pick these up and I will let you guys know if they're good. If they are, then I've just saved you £30, £40 on 
uh, very expensive shampoo and conditioners I, I just really struggle with shampoo and conditioners and then when I find something I like I tend to stick to it and then I feel like my hair gets a little bit used to it so every now and then I like to switch it up um, and seeing as I was out I didn't really want to replace my 40 pound shampoo and conditioner um, without giving this one a go first and if this one's better then great and then i also i think i probably showed you guys a clip actually in boots so i was going to get my little coco's bath soak for the bath um and their bump butter now the bath soak was 8.99 and the bump butter was a 10 pound it was 9.99 so it'd have been like 20 something pound uh, by the time i'd finished and then i noticed they did this lovely little like gift pack set um, and this was £15 and it has both of them in uh, plus a bump sheet mask. So I'm going to have a little pamper night tonight um, and use these. So I've got the My Little Cocoa bath soap for mums and My Little Cocoa bump butter and then the bump sheet mask. I've seen a few people using the um, bump sheet mask so I'll be interested to use that. I do have stretch marks. They're not bad. Um, they're not from this pregnancy. They're from the twins. Uh, and then I got a couple more when I was pregnant with Alexis. Um, and I just want to try and keep or try and prevent any more further stretch marks. But stretch marks are just part of the parcel of being pregnant, guys. Like, it is what it is. Um, we have to love our bodies and what we've created. It's worth having stretch marks for, isn't it? But um, I'm going to try and look after my skin. I I've been using the bio oil and the Palmer's body butter one, body bump, the actual bump, the one for bumps. Um, and I put the bio oil on first, let that soak in, and then I put the Palmer's butter on as well. Um, and I think it's been working so far, um, but I really wanted to try this My Little Cocoa and then put something extra in the bath to give me a little bit more moisture. I, I'm actually living in baths at the minute, so... A little bit i'm going off the rails here again um but i have like a uh, pelvic problems so when i'm pregnant with alexis i think it's called cpd or something like that uh, my pelvis actually separated while i was pregnant with alexis i was on crutches i was having physio i was sat on the balls every day i couldn't turn over in bed i was in absolute agony by the end and i could barely walk um, and I'm starting to feel that pressure again. Hopefully, touch wood, is there any wood in here? <laughs> touch wood that it doesn't get as bad as that again this pregnancy. But um, yeah, I am starting to feel like the pain and pressure of my pelvis down below, especially if I kind of overdo it all day. So uh, yeah, I'm living in the bath and I wanted just something extra in the bath on an evening so my bump's getting little bit of moisture while i'm laid in there as well so i'll let you guys know and then i thought this bar but box this bag would actually be really cute to put in like my hospital bag i could put just some toiletries in for me into uh, my hospital bag so i thought that was really nice so that's what i picked up in boots they also had some really lovely um baby clothes and boots i love boots and then i went into next and i no then i went in so I went TK Maxx first, looked at some candles. There weren't anything that really took my fancy, so I didn't buy anything in there. Then I went to Boots, and then, of course, I cannot go to Wheatley Hall Road, the shopping centre I go to, without going into next. Oh my God, when I open this bag, it makes me so happy. Hmm. I've just realised that I was just about to show you baby's clothes when you guys don't know the gender of the baby yet. Hmm. I'm going to have to... <laughs> I'm going to have to actually wait and show you these items when I've announced it to you guys. So I don't want to ruin it right now. But I did pick up Baby some really cute little bits in next. There's some beautiful stuff in there. Also, Zara. Zara is a big winner for me right now. And then a couple of boutiques on Instagram. Um, but I won't be buying too many clothes this time around because they just grow out of them i remember going absolutely ballistic with lexis and obviously she was a girl and we'd had boys previous i went mental the amount of clothes that girl had she probably only wore maybe 50 percent of it and i ended up giving most of it away to my friend um and 
the things that I did buy her she practically wore for 10 minutes <laughs> and then I took her back out and put her in a sleep suit so this baby will be mainly in sleep suits for the first few months the comfort is key but I have bought a couple of really lovely nice bits um I can't believe I'm actually going to show you all them clothes then because it would have been a huge clue as to what the gender is I will show you I have one thing out of the bag I could probably show you without giving it away just a tease um these cute little booties how adorable are they absolutely loved these they did these in navy blue and like a camel color as well um but i love babies in little booties like this so i picked these up in a not to three i think that was the smallest size they did and these were 15 pound i want to say um and i just thought these were really really cute so these could either be for a boy outfit with like knitted leggings or something like that or for a little girl outfit with tights i'm not going to give it away um but yeah i thought these were really really adorable that's probably all i can show you from that so i'm going to put these things away i'm gonna relax because that's what i do on my day off i don't work on wednesdays or mondays they're my days off i might catch up on a bit of housework and what else do i need to do today like i say i've been trying to get the house in order i still have so much to do like i feel like the house needs to be not a priority when the baby comes so i want it all to be nice and clean sorted and organized by then um but yeah i am going to put these things away now and i'll see you guys in a bit just open the pack just to quickly show you guys so you get this my little cocoa bath soak and then you get the bump butter and then also a bump sheet na mask so i'm gonna have a lovely um bump pamper tonight how cute my dad has just called and he brought some donuts oh my god this donut this sprinkle one is alexis's favorite donut um so that's for alexis tez and the boys when they get home from school so i'm just gonna make a cup of tea and have a donut <laughs> Thousand 